what is cyclocross. It's a combination of road and mountain biking, but in a shorter, fast-paced style that's easy to watch the entire race from one spot. To race it, it's like a giant BMX race or a NASCAR race on bikes. My name is Tim Johnson, and I've been a professional since 2001. Uh, I've been racing cyclocross since 1995, and I'm a five-time national champion. Uh, my name is Kate Harris, and I've been a cyclocross racer for one year today, actually. Uh, for me, I, I love the intensity of it and the challenge and the fact that you have this, this very like clear task to perform in this 40-minute this time period, and you just give it your all. Uh, you know, everything else falls away, the crowds, all you see is, is the trail ahead of you, and you just try and negotiate it as fast and, and smooth as you can. Why am I here? Why did I drive like seven hours to get here? Because this is one of the biggest races in the country. And I have been going to cyclocross races for like 15 years. I love the sport because it's got a lot to do with technique and not just strength. So there's a lot of aspects to it and it's fun to watch because you can actually see it. My name is Paul Boudreau and I'm the race director for the Grand Prix of Gloucester. So a lot of the courses you'll see a mix of grass, mud, gravel, sand. Cyclocross is all about transitions. There's a lot of turns and corners and going from one kind of surface to another surface. So you, you really have to just break the course down and say, how can I get through this section of the course as fast as I can without crashing? You grow up as a kid and you want to be a pro baseball player or football player or whatever. It took me a while to figure out that there was such a thing as a professional cyclist. But as soon as I found that out, then that's what I wanted to do, and I'm pretty lucky to be able to do it. I've come over the finish line here in Gloucester, like goosebumps and tears coming out of my eyes because the fence is lined with fans and friends and family, and that, that's something that I'll, I'll never ever forget.